Here's a trip report from Lake Taps, three or four bass, something like this. Also, at the end, there's some information about bass fishing in the Seattle area, especially in the spring. Square bill, small mouth. I'm in my at Lake Tap. That's what's biting. Lake Taps into the swamp frog water. Feels like I got a small mouth. bit bigger than usual. It's like a pet fish here. Nice little small mouth, like taps. Oh, in the grass by accident and pulled out this guy. He's going fish beds, but they just go right back to their bed when you capture them. some tips to help you catch some spring bass um, and kind of in the general Seattle area Lake Washington here Lake Sammamish here <clears throat> this bay here Union Bay near UW real shallow there's gonna be bass there I've caught my largest smallmouth ever on the south of this 520 bridge here as I've highlighted before the area around the East I-90 bridge, real shallow area. This whole area near the uh, Yacht Club, there's a bunch of um, lily pads back in here. It's going to be hot for largemouth if you can deal with the weeds. That takes effort, skill, and a uh, little luck. I also um, will troll under the, the bridge, both sides of the bridge. Another area is near Proctor Landing off Mercer Island. South of there, there's a very small area that uh, I've caught a lot of smallmouth. Both sides of the bridge there too. And uh, on Lake Sammamish, uh, the north end right here, uh, near north of Idlewood Park. Lily pads, large mouth and smallmouth. And then also the south, south area near the Lake Sammamish State Park on the so southern shores, you'll find bass there in the spring. But particularly I look for areas that are south facing. They're gonna receive more sunshine than something that might be north facing. Uh, recently on Lake Taps, <clears throat> I was catching bass um, in, th in this area here, Island B, and on the I guess on the Scout and Interlake Island areas, I, I, I navigated, I didn't catch anything on there, but I saw some guys fishing over here on the north end of Interlake, northeast end of Interlake Island. I didn't want to bother them because I saw something that I liked better, but obviously there was two boats there and they weren't together, it didn't seem. So uh, I don't have a lot of experience on Lake Taps, but it has a lot of potential. It has, you can see all the features that it has, all the bays and fingers and it's it's really uh, shallow in a lot of areas, so it'd be good for bass. Hope you find that information useful.